Soccer is the only sport that you have to miss what your eye looks at to be successful. In soccer, you want to shoot away from the goalkeeper. The problem is this. Goalkeepers wear bright jerseys, bright gloves. When kids look up, the last thing they see is the goalkeeper. They shoot at what they see. It's very hard to teach a kid, or an adult even, to shoot to a corner where a keeper is not, especially when the last thing they see is a target. 80% of the time when you kick the ball, it goes to the goalie. Now, granted, some goalies are better than others, but if it doesn't go to the goalie 10% of the time, it goes to the brightly colored white post. It's what your eye is attracted to that's what your ball goes to. The focuser intentionally draws the, the child or, or the, the player's eyes to the corners where the ball should be shot. And through repetition, the ball is going to be shot toward what the mind is trained to see. In games, everyone, you know, the last thing they look up and they see the goalkeeper, I think the focuser helps uh, of, of when they take the last touch and they get ready to, to strike a ball and their head's up, they're looking at the corner now, they're not looking at the goalkeeper. And then when they strike it, they're not thinking about the goalkeeper, they're thinking about those targets on the side. So it just becomes a natural ability when you strike a ball that it's going to head towards the corner, not towards the goalkeeper. It's allowed us to um, put our kids in situations where they're focusing a, a lot on where they, the placement of their shots, um, not necessarily focusing on the goalkeeper who's in goal there or um, the defenders around them. It's causing them to really to focus on contacting the ball correctly um, so that they can they can put it in the upper 90 or the lower corner. We developed a focuser that goes in the, in the corners, in the, the high percentage shot areas, two on each side of the goalie, to where when that offensive player's got that breakaway and he's got the split second to shoot, he shoots with a shot picture that includes a visible ability for him to score. He can train himself to look past those yellow gloves if he's got another target to look at. The focuser was designed specifically with coaches in mind in terms of ease of, of, of establishing the product on the goal. The big hook goes on the top and the little hook goes on the bottom. Once it's hanging there, you just merely snap them together. You pull the tensioner and the webbing will actually go right up into the net, totally out of the way, and then you apply each target. First, you take one disc and you slide it into the other. There's a snap hook on the top. Just hook it in the ring and score more goals. Different age groups of soccer do use different size goals, so it's important that the focuser fits and accommodates each size goal. So the focuser was designed with smaller targets for smaller goals and larger targets for larger goals. It, it takes maybe a, a full three minutes to set up and then the kids enjoy it. They have targets to shoot at and it's not shooting like at a regular goalkeeper. It's something new and it challenges them because the targets are, aren't big enough that they're easy to hit, but they're not small enough that you're not going to be able to hit them. Well, the goalkeepers are the ones who really get the short end of the stick with the focuser. In a 10 minute game, I would say we're taking double the amount of shots that we were when we don't have the focuser up in the goal. For some reason, the kids, they start to get this mentality of, I need to finish, I need to finish. And every time they're receiving the ball, they're picking their head up, trying to bury it in the back of the net. When I was at Udawah, Udawah High School, we went from um, not making state since 1983 uh, to you know, the first year they made state tournament for the boys, and I think a big part of that is us using the focuser. We've won six state titles. We've been runner-up four times. The, the last six years, we've won four of the six state titles, runner-up the other two times. With the boys' side, I've only been the head coach for five years. We've won one state title and been in the final four twice. The results I've seen from using the focuser are incredible. When you put the kids in an environment where they absolutely have to score, they're going to score better after using the focuser because they're going to be trained to shoot to where the keeper is not. It's kind of given them the confidence to go ahead and, and try to take a shot. You know, go out and try to take a chance here. Score more, score more, score more. That's what the focuser is about. Hook, hook, tighten. And that really does take about 15 seconds. But then, you know, putting the phone together, I would say two minutes per side. So, you know, four minutes. But what's four minutes when you're training a team to win a championship?
Well, when I was coaching our 12 and 13 year old boy teams, uh, and the focuser was in its early stages, I brought it out to practice one day, set it up on the field, set it up on the goal, and then stepped away to talk to some parents. I was 30 or 40 yards away from the field, and when I turned around to look, the kids were all taking shots at the focuser, and they were taking turns, without me even being there, trying to hit the corners. They were trying to hit the targets, and when they didn't, they were disappointed, which went straight to the point that shooting the ball where it's supposed to go, using the focuser, the kids are going to learn whether there's instruction there or not.